The 2017 hurricane season has just started. We know it runs from June 1st to November 30th every year, and most of the experts agree we're going to have above average number of storms. But as we learned last year in the Carolinas, it only takes one storm to make it a bad year. I might fall over because of this strong force wind right now on Folly Beach. Eight months ago, Hurricane Matthew set its sights on the Carolinas. The record setting and historic storm slammed into the South Carolina coast. Its landfall was just south of Myrtle Beach as a category one hurricane. Matthew packed strong winds and deadly storm surge. That pounding wave destroyed at least three piers, damaging thousands of homes in North and South Carolina. This is bad, it's bad. But Matthew's impact didn't just stop at the coast. The storm's heavy rains dropped more than 10 inches of rain in parts of North Carolina. Many rivers, including the Lumber, the Noose, and the Tar, all rose to record levels. Those surging waters flooded more than 100,000 buildings. It was horrible having to walk through water up to my stomach with both of my kids. Matthew and its impacts claimed 30 lives in the Carolinas and caused nearly $2 billion in damage. But the storm's path of destruction started long before the Palmetto State. Matthew at one point was a Category 5 hurricane. It raged north through the Caribbean, making landfalls in Haiti, Cuba, and the Bahamas as a Category 4 storm. It killed more than 550 people, causing more than $5 billion in damage just in the Caribbean. <laughs> then the storm tracked up the coast, staying just offshore. But it still ravaged Florida and Georgia's Golden Isles. Flooding and tornadoes spawned by Matthew killed another 15 in those states. We feel really lucky and blessed. All the stuff can be replaced, right? We can't be replaced. Now we enter a new hurricane season, and the National Hurricane Center is predicting we could see five to nine storms. But forecasters can't tell you exactly where those storms are going to hit. And as we learned with Matthew, those predictions matter little. We cannot stop hurricanes, but again, we can prepare for them. It really only takes one storm. Experts at the Colorado State University are predicting slightly fewer storms than the National Hurricane Center. They believe we'll see at least four hurricanes. Two of them could become major hurricanes. And we've already had the first of those storms months before the official start to the hurricane season. Tropical Storm Arlene formed in the eastern Atlantic way back in April. As Hurricane Matthew showed us, the strength of the storm isn't really important when it comes to tropical systems. Hurricane Matthew killed 47 people, caused $10 billion in damage. That's the 10th most in U.S. history. Now, a lot of that damage occurred here along the coast, the homes, businesses, and roads. Our own Evan West is going to show you how some of those coastal towns are still recovering.